Today we're going to learn about perspective drawing. We're going to be creating 3D steps. The materials needed for this project will be a pencil, ruler, eraser, black sharpie, or marker if you have one. Let's begin by first uh, understanding what 3D drawing is. 3D drawing is an orthographic projection used to show a three-dimensional object as a dimensional drawing. This means to draw something that has volume or space to create the illusion of height, width, and depth in an image when viewed from different angles. To understand the different elements that create a three-dimensional drawing, let's start with what a line drawing is. Line art or line drawing is any image that consists of distinct straight or curved lines placed against the background without gradation in shade or hue to represent two-dimensional or three-dimensional objects. Let's move on to value. Value drawing is the range between black and white when it has no color to full color. Think of value as starting with white, then many shades of gray in between, and then ending with black. To have a better understanding on how to create a value scale, let's go ahead and practice and create one ourselves. In this practice, you are going to create a rectangle with seven sections. Then label the first section white and the last section black. Beginning, sh begin shading each section darker and darker until you reach the end. This is what we call a value scale. Now that you have practiced creating a value scale, we will move on to understanding light. We will focus on two aspects of light, direct and reflected light. Direct light refers to any area on the form that directly receives light from the light source. Contrast with this is reflected light. Reflected light, or bounce light, is light on the dark side of a form that has been reflected onto a form by an adjacent surface. The best way to understand how the light source works in a drawing is to practice creating one. Let's practice. Let's start by creating a cube. You will draw a square and then add two adjacent lines from the top and bottom corners of the box. Tilt the line at a 30 degree angle-ish approximation and connect them. The, then draw a horizontal line at the bottom and lastly connect the final section. Clean up any area you'd like with your eraser and this is how you create a cube. Now turn your sheet around and place a circle uh, in the left hand corner to represent your light source. As you can see I placed an X at the top 
and in front of the cube to remind me that is where the light is hitting. This will allow me to identify where I need to start shading in my shadows. The X is what we call a direct light. Now begin shading. Now we're going to go ahead and add our shadow. We're going to add two lines, two parallel lines uh, next to or right next to the area that we shaded in completely black. And then we're going to connect them and then we're going to shade that area in very lightly as well. Lastly, we're going to go ahead and use our eraser to clean up around the shadow area and use our finger to smudge the shadow area to kind of blend it into the cube. This is how we identify our light source using shadow and direct light versus the reflective light. We are now ready to draw. We're going to combine both practices, the value drawing and the cube drawing to now create our 3D steps. First, we will create a square using a ruler in the middle of the square. You will draw a vertical line about half an inch and then a 30 degree line at the top of it. From there, you will draw a horizontal line to the end of the box. You will repeat the steps and each time extend the line half an inch horizontally to create the illusion of steps. Once you reach the top, you will draw straight horizontal lines on the outer area of the square, repeating it to the top of the page. Lastly, you will draw slanted lines from the steps to the top of the box as demonstrated. We are halfway there. So the next step is we're going to go ahead and pull out our Sharpie. If you don't have one, use your pencil. And you're going to shade in the front of each step as demonstrated. After you've shaded in each step, each front of each step, you're gonna go ahead and use your pencil to lightly shade each of the steps as well as the wall next to the step. Your light source is now at the top of the page looking down into the, the, the stairway. Your final details will be to use your pencil to outline the top of the box uh, and like the corners of the stairs as well as like retracing the connection, the horizontal line that connects each top of the steps. You'll see in the demonstration. And now we're done. We've created 3D steps. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. 
Comment below if you have any suggestions or any other tutorial options that you would like me to create. And I look forward to creating with you the next time.